Discovery Houston, press to ATO. You're listening to the On Call Empath Show. Tranquility Base here. The angle has landed. All right, guys, thanks for coming with me on this journey. I just wanted to let you know that you can replay this episode as many times as you want. And I want you to be able to come back over and over and over again as much as you need to get what you can out of this episode. Let's go ahead and get started. A lot of us have gone through so much trauma in life. And a lot of that has been stuck in our pain bodies. They manifest in many different ways. Emotionally, physically, we carry it on every day. I know what it's like to be an empath and not be understood by the outside world. But I wanna thank you for keep pushing forward despite all the stress and strain that you go through on a daily basis. We're gonna start off by taking a deep breath Inhale through your nose and slowly, gently exhale through your mouth. I want you to listen to my voice and I want you to keep focus on this very moment nothing else matters. Not the pain that you've been through, not the discard from all the toxic people that you might have come across in your life. Nothing matters but this moment. Please take another breath slowly in through your nose and gently blow out through your mouth. Be one with the waves that you hear and visualize your happy place. Whatever your happy place is, whether it's a beach, your home, a park, a lake, somewhere where no one else goes except for you when you need to be alone, your safe space. I want you to picture that. Go inside of it. I want you to focus now on your entire body and go to the place where you store most of your pain. Is that your chest? Is it your back? Is it your shoulders? I want you to focus on it. and sort of let go and let those muscles and that area heal and give permission, full permission to let go, finally. You're in a safe place now 
and nobody can take this moment away from you. We are not our past, and the past does not define who we are. I want you to focus on that pain in your body and let it know that it's okay, that you are not going to judge it, you're just going to observe it. Once you let go, I want you to focus on the top of your head and think of this light, this white light that's beaming down your body through your chest, torso, pelvis, legs, through your toes. The energy from the earth, if you're religious, God, from a higher power, that is cleansing you at this very moment in time. Understanding that you are not your pain. Though people that has done wrong to you, the anger, the hate, all that is being washed away with the ocean crashing in the background. I want you to breathe again through your nose. Make sure you're breathing slowly through your nose and out your mouth, hearing every word out of my mouth as a guide to let you know that you're safe. You've made it this far in life. And you're doing an amazing job and you have so much left to do on this planet. So much to give as empaths. We are givers. We think for others. That's how we are built. And our mission is to give to others and help others. But it also, your responsibility to put yourself first and take care of you the person that's lying there in your safe space. You owe it to yourself to give everything that that little boy or girl never got growing up. I want you to focus on self-compassion with every word that I'm saying, I want you to give that compassion to yourself for once. You think about everybody else trying to please them, trying not to rock the boat, waiting for others' permission, and that stops now. Because it's all about you and loving yourself. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. I don't want you to answer them right now, but I want you to take them in into your subconscious to nourish your soul so you can start working on this every day when you hear this meditation. Who supports you? Who supports you when you are down and when you are out? How do you nourish your soul? What do you do for yourself for self-compassion? What are your biggest fears and worries that you think about every day? And how does that affect your life? What 
what makes you feel alive truly alive is it helping others is it working hard and getting feedback from people is it your family is it your friends what makes you truly alive in this world what can you control at this very moment besides your breath and your thoughts what things can't you control out of your realm in the outside world in the fallen world outside can you let go of that What can you be grateful for today? After this is over, what can you be truly gracious for in this life? What negative thoughts do you have that goes through your mind every day that affects you and how can you fix that and rewire your brain what are you putting into your mind are you watching the news are you afraid on things that you see on social media what are you feeding your brain? Are you exercising positivity and loving yourself? What are you doing to heal yourself from past trauma and this is the last and final question those people that hurt you are hurting themselves we don't come into this world to hurt others it is learned it is experienced and then they go on and hurt other people Especially people that are manipulative and narcissistic in nature and lack empathy. They affect a lot of empaths because they lack a self identity, a soul. I am sorry that you went through that. I want you to look at that little inner child. Just like if you had a child of your own and tell them that no matter what, you are going to be okay. But the sound of my voice, you can come back to this place as many times as you need and if you made it this far in this meditation with your eyes closed visualizing and not judging any of the questions that I've asked but we'll work on them as a side effect your life will get much lighter and better day by day, by day. To close, I want you 
to take another deep breath through your nose, out through your mouth, and I want you to picture yourself looking at yourself from above in a room. you've never met this person what would you tell this person just like you would tell a friend or a family a loved one what would you tell them would you tell them that everything's going to be okay that nothing's going to hurt them and they're on your watch that their trauma isn't who they are the abuse the narcissists, all these people that hurt them, it's over now. It's all over. You are healing and you will be one with yourself and go back to the person that you were before all this happened. You may not forget, the scars will remain, but you're gonna come back stronger than ever. And this meditation is always gonna be here for you on this episode. No matter when, what's going on in the outside world, I will be here for you. All you have to do is hear my voice and tap into your soul and keep moving forward. I want you to listen to the crashing of the waves as we take our last minute of a final couple of deep breaths and exhaling. And I want you to focus on your future self and what that would look like with somebody that loves you, financial, career, friends, family, wealth. What does that look like to you? I want it to be vivid. I want you to close your eyes and think and visualize. If you're in pain, physical pain, emotional pain, I want you to feel what it's like when it, it's gone, like it's, it's not there anymore. What does that feel like? What's going through your body? What's going through your mind? What are some of the things that you're doing that you would otherwise wouldn't have done? Who are you dating? Who are you married to? Who are you helping? Who are you serving? Just take a moment and really focus on that. As you hear the sound of my voice, I want you to remember it. And that person that's smiling and laughing, the person that 
is doing so well in life, that's full of life, that's an empath or been through trauma, you're happy, things are going your way, that's the real you. You were meant here to help others and to give back and everything else will fall in place as we heal together. This is Raj Mantaj with my affirmation to all my listeners that's been with me since the beginning of time through my own trauma. If you wanted to get a little sneak peek on what I do and what the questions that I ask myself to heal myself, well, you got it right here. As we take this music out, listen to this voice, anytime that you need, I'm right here for you. I will never let you down. One last deep breath. And then exhale. Thank you for coming with me on this journey. And I want you to open your eyes. And I want you to take one last deep breath again. And know you are now a different person. And you're much better than you were before you heard this podcast. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe in the link below and keep moving forward. This is Raj Mantaj. And I'll let the outro take us out. And you have an amazing rest of your day, week, year. You've got this. Raj Mantaj. And I'm out.